Hello, I've heard so much about your good practice from your colleagues. Hello, from Jilan and thank you. Merdita Tung. First of all, tell us something about your city that other members in the Connective Cities Network should know. Jilan is one of the seventh uh, largest municipality in Kosovo and is located in the south part of, uh, of Kosovo, in the border with northern Macedonia and Serbia. And it's beautiful uh, landscape, typical agriculture uh, uh, municipality, in which or from which around 47 of population are non-resident here because they live in, uh, inside the Europe. They are coming during the summertime and Christmas time every, every single year. Tell us about the measures you took to overcome the challenges posed by this crisis. The first step was when we allocated uh, three medic teams to the border because we are the biggest entrance from the Serbia and Northern Macedonia, as I mentioned, to Kosovo. And then having in mind that we are the very large group of diaspora people who may come and visit the town. Then we started to check entrance in the, in the border and then prevent in fact, infections from outside Jilan. The crisis group of Jilani municipality, health institutions, police, state police, and uh, civil emergency services in the town. We started 24 hours, seven days to mon monitor and control our municipality. The second measure was education, because the biggest, the largest group is under the school. Uh, we have around 21,000 students and children's pupils in the school. And then we needed to coordinate with management and bring everybody under the monitoring uh, according to our plan. So what can other municipal actors learn from your approach? Let's say Jilan has some sort of the experience dealing with the uh, emergency situation because we are post-conflict country. We are, we are very seismic. Uh, we had earthquake in 2002. We do have a plan on emergency reactions. The first uh, lessons learned financial uh, planning on time. The second, the reaction of the crisis teams uh, on, on pandemic time, training and basically regular training, not just emergency services, uh, but uh, medic team. And then online education, we, sh we should start here in this region as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you so much and goodbye, stay safe.